y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and today we're live doing a hoe cake breakfast. We got up late, Chris has pink eye, so we couldn't go to church, and we're making a hoe cake breakfast. My mama used to make them all the time, and that's what we like the best with gravy. So I'm going to put in a couple of cups of self-rising flour into my bowl. Well, and I make a mess every time I cook, no matter what. And then I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of shortening in the bowl. And then I'm going to use my blending fork, and I'm going to incorporate the shortening into the flour. And when you mix it up, you want the pieces to be about pea size, not T90. Same thing goes for a pie crust. Today on Facebook, you can see a all-day pie marathon on my Facebook page in case you're interested in making a pie for Thanksgiving, they'll be they'll be viewed all all day long. There's, I have 42 pie recipes on video, so um, plenty of entertainment. So we're cutting this shortening into our flour, and you can always add a pinch of soda if you want to. I'm gonna grab the soda. Now I've actually got um, a hoe cake in the oven already. So that y'all definitely will see one coming out. I made a small one. So that y'all can see one coming out. Now all we have to do, mix that up and add buttermilk. Now when you mix up a whole cake, you do it pretty wet. Almost like you're doing cornbread. Um, so it takes more milk, okay? You don't mix up a whole cake like you're going to um, put it out on the counter and um, roll, it. roll it or or cut out biscuits, okay? So what you're doing is you're getting it pretty doggone wet. Almost like spoon biscuits, but just a tad wetter, okay? I still haven't made spoon biscuits for y'all. But if you wanted to make a spoon biscuit, all you do is do the same thing, but it wouldn't be quite this wet, but really, really close. And you would just spoon them out on a pan and cook them at 450 degrees. Now, that's all there is to it. See how easy that is for mama to make or daddy to make or granddaddy to make. Look, we got us an iron skillet. I use Crisco. I'm going to grease it good. So really, all this is is a really, really big biscuit. Okay? We're going to get this into the Pan. I'll be right back. I gotta wash my hands. And while this is in the oven, we're gonna make some gravy and some eggs. Um, normally, if I'm making uh, gravy, I don't make grits. Okay, we have one or the other. And if you're gonna make a whole cake, it makes sense to make gravy. Because they're really good with the gravy because they come out real light and fluffy. And so they're just wonderful for breakfast with gravy. Okay? We'll spread this out in the pan. I could have put a little bit more in there, really. A little bit more milk, I mean. It's just a big biscuit. Let's get it in the oven. You really can't hardly do it wrong. No, you can't. Yeah, if you can't make a good biscuit, anybody can just about make a hot cake. This one I want to get just a little bit brown. We're going to leave it in here in a couple of more minutes. Are we going to put this one in? While we're making the gravy, we'll, um, maybe that one will be done in time. So we got the oven on 450 degrees. Um, and now we're going to make some gravy real quick while we're cooking that. Well, I, I kind of wanted y'all to see I'm going to turn this up just a little bit so it'll brown pretty quick in case somebody just watches this video just for the whole cake. Okay. So we're going to press the start button. If you're going to do that, you better put a timer on it, like two minutes or something, so you don't forget. Well, it ain't going to be done in two minutes. Um, let's say we'll check it in five. I just hate hearing that thing beep when I'm on video. Okay, now we're going to make some gravy. Um, we already fried up some bacon. We're going to put it in our little bowl over here on the table. And you can see on the table, 
I already have out a plate for the whole cake, something for the gravy, and something for the eggs. We got some homemade pear preserves, some homemade blackberry preserves with the full berry in it, and then I've got some strawberry as well. So um, it's always good to have when you're eating a biscuit. I'm just going to wipe off this real quick, and then we're going to start some gravy. Can you slide that, those two things just over there in front of that thing out of the way? Now, if I hadn't messed up and been so crazy with my flour, I wouldn't have a mess on my table because whole cakes don't make a mess normally. But I'm kind of a messy, messy cook because I'm always in a hurry. All right, here we go. We're going to pour off a little bit of this bacon grease before we make our gravy. I don't want all of that, okay, because I'm going to put some butter in it. So we're going to pour a little bit in this little jar right here. Save enough in there to flavor it. Now let's start it up. We're going to put a little bit of butter in it. And I may need some more flour before it's over. It's going how much is in my sifter already. I keep my sifter up here. It's always got flour in it. I've never seen one before. Yummy butter. That's just telling me that the oven's at 475. Gonna put in. I always use a sifter to put my flour in, uh, just because it uh, does a good job and it keeps it less lumpy. You know. Now that uh, bacon grease had a little salt in it, I'm sure. Let me move this over. Now we're going to add a little bit of pepper. I love pepper in my gravy. I'm going to turn this timer off. And I'm going to put in some salt. And now we're going to wait for this to get a little brown around the edges. You can see it's starting to turn a little bit brown right there right there but you need to brown the flour if you don't it'll taste raw and it just won't have a good flavor so brown it you don't have to get it dark brown but you know toast it a little bit so it has a good flavor okay our biscuits ready Okay, I'm gonna flip that out in two seconds, but we're gonna do this first. Oh, we got time. Yeah. All right, those of y'all that's waiting on the whole cake, that's why y'all watch the video. This is it. You take it just like you would cornbread and you flip it out on a plate. And I'm gonna cut it for you after we get scraby done. You cut your oven down. Yeah. Here, just let them watch this. I'll do that in a minute. Because it'll take us a minute to get hot. All right, so we're going to cut my oven back down. They don't have to watch this part. 450, start. Okay, now when you add your milk, make sure you whisk it good. Really good. And what I like about the gravy whisk is it does get along the bottom real easy. Uh, of course, if you're a really good cook, you don't need a gravy whisk, you can use a regular whisk. But don't use a spoon. Use a whisk. It sure does make for your gravy, okay? But I love the gravy whisk. Now that I've had one, I don't think I'd do without it. See how it just goes along the edge? Look how the blades just sit right up on the edge. 
I just love it. All right, so as soon as this gets hot, it's going to thicken, and we're going to have our gravy made. Now, we're also going to do some eggs, so I guess we could, we just saved this to put our gravy in, but actually, since um, I'm going to pour that gravy up on that thing in the table, in the thing on the table, I think I'll just go ahead and crack my eggs in this batter roll. We're just going to do some scrambled eggs real quick. And you can smell, you'll smell the gravy when it's ready. You soon mean, as you when start, the flour starts to brown. Yeah, as soon as you start smelling it, you know it's ready. Before you add the milk, that is. You're not going to smell it while it's cooking. Smell it while it's cooking. I got to get it out of there, don't I? Mm -hmm. Let me put these eggs ready. Do it a lot. What time? You better get your ready. Oh, it's ready. Thing. Looks good, y'all. Looks real good. Let's pour it up. And you can always, if it gets too thick, you can thin it up in your bowl. But if you, if you, um, just use your whisk if you need to to do that. Lord, this thing is heavy. I can't really pick it up with my hand. This is one of those three inch, show them the skillet. This is one of those three inch, um, uh, tall skillets. They're for sale on our website if you go to cookware. Um, they're wonderful, but the boy, are they heavy. All right, I'm going to use this to do our eggs. It's the one that our little whole cake come out of. This one right here, you do not want to put a hot um, iron skillet in cold water. You don't want to run cold water in it. That's what makes them crack up and look bad. Um so don't do that. If you want to put some warm water in it, you can, or hot water. But don't put a bunch of uh, cold water in it while it's hot like that. You want right. to put that over there since it's a big, gigantic eye? Yeah, I guess I could. That makes sense, don't it? All right, this is our baby skillet. But it'll be fun to do our eggs in. Um, all my skillets are good and uh, seasoned because I've had them for a while. Now, the I have a new tall one that I haven't had in a real long time. That's a lot of butter. Mm. But I'm making a good breakfast, so it don't matter. And then we're going to get over here and take this whole cake for y'all. Let y'all see it. I don't put milk in my eggs. When I scramble eggs, I just like the whole egg, okay? So that's all I do. I really don't need quite that much butter. Pour it in here. And I like to cook my eggs up a little bit. Unless, of course, I am um, making a... Um, fried egg and then of course I turn it down well I like my eggs to be in larger hunks not little bitty tiny ones okay we're going to salt it pepper it Move it around. I let it cook and I just kind of keep moving it out from the edge. And then once they're almost done, I'll flip them a little. Okay. They're getting close. I'm going to turn them down because the flame is bothering my hand. Now that's, to me, that's how eggs ought to look. <laughs> but now that's what I like. Everybody's different. If you like milk in yours, put milk in yours. If you like yours, beat all the pieces, then, you know, beat them all the pieces. But I like mine like this. 
And I don't have to have cheese and all that stuff in them because we're about to have some nice gravy and stuff. That's about right, right there. I'm going to take these up here and put them on the table. There we go. And we still got one skillet in there, but we're going to make a plate for y'all and let you see. You I'll want to show part. them what the, uh, it's been in there probably about 10 minutes. Yeah. Just so you can kind of see. Um, here, let me show them. Get back down there. I just want them to kind of see about where it is. See, there it is. But the color, no. And then. Messes the color. Up. Did we zoom back out? Good. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to make us a plate. Woohoo! Gotta have a big glass of milk or orange juice. I like sweet tea. Um, let me get me a couple of spoons for the jellies. I'll show you all my jellies that I make. Now, the strawberry jelly, I didn't put pectin in, so it is it is runny, but it don't have the pectin, you know, like sure gel or nothing in it. I could have put a different piece of fruit in there and got some pectin in it that's natural, but I just don't, when I make jelly, I don't really like to use the sure gel unless I just absolutely have to. Um, here we go. I'm going to show y'all how pretty this is. Y'all ready? Now this, anybody can make, and it's sometimes, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's fluffy. It's light. It smells so good. Okay. And I take it and I crumble it up on my plate. Oh my gosh. It's just so, y'all listen. Bring them over here so that I can hear it. I mean, it's just, hear that? It's just got a little crunch on the outside, and then it's nice and soft. Uh, so if you don't like a soft biscuit, you're not going to like this. That's why I like to make these to eat with um, gravy and syrup and stuff like that. Let me get me a little scooper. And we got about 200 people on. I know a lot of y'all were asking some questions earlier, and it's hard to it's hard to keep up with her in video and look at your questions. Um, so I know I'll probably miss some. All right, so we're going to put some gravy in this deliciousness. Okay. And this is not the Southern Biscuit mix that we use. This, she made her, just made it homemade with this one. We didn't use the Southern Biscuit mix. All right. Get you a couple of pieces of bacon. And now I'm going to show you my jellies. Now, uh, Missy Patty is the girl that sells me my paparazzi jewelry, and she sends us this jelly. My daddy wants a whole case of it. I hadn't told her yet. Um, it is amazing. Okay. She makes she makes pear preserves like Mama used to. I like them. Um, she puts a little butter in them, and she cooks them pretty good. And yummy. They're delicious. When I say pretty good, I mean she gets them done. All right, this is my blackberry jelly, y'all. I, I cook my blackberry, my blackberry jelly until it's kind of sticky, and it's got the whole berries in it. That's what I like. And then I'll show y'all my strawberry. Now, the strawberry, like I said, is more like syrup, really. And it would be good, you know, like on a cake or um, pancakes, even. All right, I'm going to take a bite. I don't have a cup of coffee made, but I'll take a bite anyway for you guys. Okay. Yummy. Thanks for watching, y'all. We're going to have a bite. Um, Chris was sick today, and he didn't get to go to church. He has pink eye. And so um, I decided I'd make a big breakfast for lunch and let you guys watch. Mmm. Y'all, there's nothing better than a whole cake. Let me quit. A lot of people have different names for whole cakes. Some people call them cornbread cakes. Some people call them pancakes. But my mama's whole cake was a biscuit in a skillet. I hope you've enjoyed watching Color Valley Cooks. 
where we cook like Mama did. Y'all like and share and subscribe, please. Go watch our uh, Facebook All Day Marathon on Pies. Bye. I love you.